looking at the history between these two teams, Grove City leads the all-time series 70 to 42. This is the 113th time that the teams will meet, fifth time in PAC tournament play. We're underway, ladies and gentlemen. It's Yarborough to begin things after Grove City has won the tip. Into the corner, first shot of the game's a three ball from Christensen, and it's through. Grove City hops out to a very early 3-0 lead. It's McCloyd. McCloyd to Wilt. Wilt to Baker. Pull up jumper. Left corner is good. Anton Baker scores the first basket of the game for the Yellow Jackets. Baker driving side on Gaither. The layup is good. Anton Baker has all six of the Yellow Jackets points, and it puts Waynesburg within three. Coming into this game, Isaac Cherry is shooting just 34.2% from the free throw line. And you just saw there, he missed his first one at the charity stripe. As more substitutions come in for the Wolverines, Cherry gets ready for his second free throw. That one is no good as well. He leaves the line 0 for 2. Back over to Wilt. Swing around the three-point arc. Knotts gets it into Baker. Baker, the reverse layup is through. Anton Baker's up to eight. And while we're here, Spencer, while we have a second, let's talk about the fact that these two teams in the preseason weren't even projected to be playing in this game. If you look at where Waynesburg was in the polls, here it is on your screen now. Waynesburg and Grove City were projected the eight and nine I mean, spots. They are now the four and five playing here in the tournament. W and J projected first. They finished eighth outside of the BAC tournament. The only things they nailed on the head was Westminster and Franciscan. Allegheny projected third, finishes dead last in the conference. And, same. and it's Mitchum guarding Yarborough. Gives it off to Randall. Into the corner for a long two. It is through. John Ward has five points. Came into the contest just averaging 2.3 points per game. Seven seconds on the shot clock for the Wolverines. Looking for something here. Christensen has it. Three seconds on the shot clock. His three ball is good. He rises up over Jansen Knox and drills the three to give Grove City an 11-point lead. Ten on the shot clock. Baker, a pull-up jumper is good. And Anton Baker is up to double digits with 10 of Waynesburg's 16 points. And it's a three ball put up by Brock for the Wolverines and it falls. Jonah Brock gets himself a three pointer. To well, when you look at the guys on this team that have played in the PAC tournament before, Ryan Felberg, he's played in the most games, but when it comes to that tournament time, he hasn't really shown up for the Yellow Jackets. In those five games, he averages 31 minutes per game, but just 3.4 points per game, and his shooting percentages take a major fall off. He shoots 20% from the field during the PAC tournament and 7.1% from behind that three-point arc in the postseason. His free throw even takes a bigger tank. When you look at his season this year, he's shooting above 70% from the free throw line. Playoff time, Ryan Felberg, 33.3%. So the grad student came back for a fifth year, told us he came back for this exact reason. He's got to find a way to step things up. And Tom Baker moves quickly the other way for Wayne for kicks it out to McCloyd. McCloyd to pull up three, and he's fouled in. One! Jordan McCloyd gets the three to go, and he'll have a free throw to make it a four-point play. 0.2 seconds separating the shot and game clock. Yarborough has it on Wilt. Tries to put up a final shot. Blocked by Davis, blocked by Wilt, and that will end the half. The Yellow Jackets will go into halftime, down by seven. What a lot of big plays to give them some momentum into the half as we see the big swat here by Jalen Davis to end the half. You go into half, down by seven. This season is not on Waynesburg's side. When going into the half trailing, Waynesburg is four and ten. When the Grove City Wolverines go into the half leading, they've been pretty much unbeatable, 10 and 2, when they go into the half with a lead. Spencer for Terry, Logan Lepiscopo, we're going to send it away to the PSA. We'll be back with the guys at the desk for the halftime show, and Spencer will take you the rest of the way for the second half of action right here on the Waynesburg University Sports Network.